Hey guys, this is Progobis from EMP and today we're going to get into practical application of chromatic approach over a background harmony. This is an exciting subject that adds a lot of color to your playing. If you have a guitar close by, you can go ahead and pick it up if you want and we can go through playing this together. By the way, for some free SFS training, use the link below to grab my free course called SFS Fretboard Secrets. So let's get started. Chord tone targeting is a melodic device where we target chord tones with surrounding notes, in this case chromatic notes. When we use chromatic notes this way we call them chromatic approach notes because we use them to approach our target. Today we'll go through six types of chromatic approaches and in the next video we'll cover six more. We will do this in the key of A, so you need to know where all the A's are on the fretboard. But don't worry if you don't know them by heart yet, because there will be a diagram at the bottom of the screen to help you locate them. Now here's how this walkthrough will work. First I will start a background harmony track and I will go through all the A's using each approach. For example, one fret below the target note. Now it's your turn, I'll guide you through each string and each time I will give you a few seconds of time for you to repeat after me. String 6 fret 5 String 5 fret 12 String 4 fret 7 String 3, fret 2. String 2, fret 10. And string 1, fret 5. See how this works? Let's do the same with one above. String 6, fret 5. String 5, fret 12. String 4, fret 7. String 3, fret 2. String 2, fret 10. And string 1, fret 5. Now let's do the same with 2 below. String 6, fret 5. String 5, fret 12. String 4, fret 7. String 3, fret 2. You're going to need to include the open string in this one. String 2, fret 10. And string 1, fret 5. And now to above. String 6, fret 5. String 5, fret 12. String 4, fret 7. String 
string 3 fret 2 string 2 fret 10 string 1 fret 5 Let's mix it up now, one below and one above. String 6, fret 5. String 5, fret 12. String 4, fret 7. String 3, fret 2. String 2, fret 10. And string 1, fret 5. And now one above and one below. String 6, fret 5. String 5, fret 12. String 4, fret 7. String 3, fret 2. String 2, fret 10. String 1, fret 5. It's quite a trip, right? We now covered 6, but there are actually 12 common chromatic approach note configurations, each one giving you different coloring opportunities for your solos. We'll go through six more in the next video. The result is that this technique will breathe new life into your solos. These two walkthrough drills are great. They expose your ears to how it feels and how it sounds to play all of these chromatic approaches. It's like a tour through cool new sounds. For now, make sure to practice what we did here a few times. And when you're ready, join me in exploring six more in the next video. Hey friends, this video was from my new course SFS Colorful Triads. I will post the next video in this series here in a couple of days. At the time that I'm releasing this, the course is still in development. But if you're a subscriber in the EMP Practice Partners subscription, then you already have access to all the lessons that I have already finished. If you're not a subscriber, then I invite you to sign up for my free mini course called SFS Fretboard Secrets, in which you will learn cool new ways to jump around the fretboard and improve your guitar improvisation skills. There should be a link to sign up somewhere below this video. Thanks for watching. This is Prokopis from EMP, and as I always say, Enjoy your practice and be effective.